So here's an interesting story that I thought I'd share with you. Democrats rising star, by the way, I'm going to come to how that point is ridiculous in a second. Democrats rising star, Senate candidate, uh, Senate candidate just said she won't vote for Chuck Schumer as party leader. Arizona Senate candidate Kirsten Sinema told uh, Politico Schumer has lost her vote. So there are a few things that are funny about this. One of them is that Chuck Schumer endorsed her. <laughs> so you're probably thinking, well, what the f Chuck Schumer endorsed her and she put a knife in his back? Um, and then the other thing that's funny about this is they're calling her a rising star. She is, she's against Schumer, not from the left, from the right. So she's a Democrat who is republican light. She's the Joe Manchin of Arizona. And they called her Democrats' rising star. Rising star according to who? Rising star according to Republicans, according to the establishment, because you guys want to see the Democrats go more corporatist, go more right-wing, go more neoliberal, go more centrist. So that's just bullshit. Not a rising star. You simply made that up. There's no... Rising star means the Democrats... Uh, there So many Democrats love her and are learning about her and the more they learn about her the more they love her no that would be Ocasio-Cortez that's a rising star fucking right wing democrat rising star but here's the the part of this that I think is really important see now she's getting headlines for being like ooh bold you're not gonna back Schumer that's interesting but again this is from the right she's not backing Schumer she thinks Schumer's too far to the left <laughs> hilarious so my whole thing is, and this is a message that goes out to Raul Grijalva, Justice Democrat. This goes out to Ro Khan, a Justice Democrat. This goes out to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. This goes out to anybody who has Justice Democrat leanings, populist left leanings, Tulsi Gabbard. You guys should be the one saying this. You should be the one saying this. Because she's getting a round of positive press over saying, I don't support Schumer. But she, she, so she's being portrayed as a straight shooter who's against this fucking terrible leader. But she's to the right of Schumer. Now, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was asked on Meet the Press, hey, what do you think about uh, Nancy Pelosi being leader in the Democratic Party? And listen, man, I love Alexandria, but she gave a politician's answer. She dodged. She's basically like, yeah, I haven't been thinking about that. I'm not even in Congress yet. That was basically her answer. Say it. No, I, I don't think she should be leader. She's been leader for a long time. The Democrats have lost a thousand seats under her. Under her and Chuck Schumer and Barack Obama, we lost a thousand seats. We have to look in the mirror, find out what we're doing wrong, and course correct. They're not doing that. Which is why she downplayed me getting elected. That's what she did. Nancy Pelosi downplayed Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez getting elected. Ah, oh, it's just one district. Forget about it. So Pelosi can shit on Ocasio-Cortez, but Ocasio-Cortez is not allowed to say, I don't think she should be leader anymore. Alexandria, you have the people behind you. You have the people behind you. They will bend to your will. I know you're new to Congress, but they will bend to your will. You don't bend to their will because they don't have a will. They have corporations. That's what they have. And they have a shitty philosophy and ideology that people don't agree with on the left. That the base of the Democratic Party hates. So you can lead. You can make them bend to your will. They have to fear you. They should fear you. But no, the right winger, the right wing Democrat is getting positive press for saying, I'm not going to vote for Schumer to be reelected, to be uh, the, the leader of the Democratic Party. The left should be saying this instead of trying to go along to get along and play pay patty cakes with the establishment. I said from the beginning, Justice Democrats is about a hostile takeover of the Democratic Party. It's not about compromising. It's not about holding hands and singing Kumbaya. They are wrong. We are right. Now, why do I say that? I say that because even among the people in the Democratic Party who, let's say, sided with Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders, when you go issue for issue with the policy proposals, they lean further left than Hillary did. That's a fact. That's a fact. So if all of the people in the Democratic Party, the average Joes and Janes, are to the left... Well, then it's time to go to the left. And it's time to say, we are waging a civil war against these leaders who do not represent you. Even if you harbor some sort of sympathies towards them, I will explain to you and I will show you how they're actively working against your interests and we are here to take over and represent you. We're on team you, 
Nancy Pelosi is on Team Corporation. Chuck Schumer, same thing. So, it's a hostile takeover. It's not a let's go along to get along and fucking be nice and... No. No, we're coming to take over, and it's going to be a party of the people. It's going to be a party of the workers. And idiots like this should not be getting all the press when she decides to... It's viewed as a bold stand to go, be against Schumer. But she's against Schumer from the right, which is worse. So who do you want? Joe Manchin to be the Democratic leader? Fuck off.